Thanks yeah. very much, Jerry. Stop carrying those greasy pots around in your good suit. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Come in. Oh, you've got company. I won't stay. Oh, no, come and meet my cousin, Amelia DeKuyper. And this is her husband, Mr. Russ DeKuyper. Uh, this uh, is Mrs. Jefferson. Uh, her husband runs the cleaners. Uh, yeah, Mrs. Jefferson, uh, uh, could we talk to you about all of this just a little later on? Uh, oh, sure. But I was just so upset about what happened to the mink cake. Something happened to the mink cake? <laughs> sure was a shame you spilled all of that sauce on it. Yeah, Mrs. Jefferson, I'll tell you what you do. Just uh, don't worry about it and get us back the cape just as soon as ever you can, huh? But there's nothing left but the skin. <laughs> So I got George to make out his check without waiting for the insurance to come through. Just like I told you, Edith, $300. Oh, thank you. Well, Louis. so long, folks. Nice to have met you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks very much, Mrs. Jefferson. Goodbye, dear. Put that away. <laughs> uh, Edith, uh, why don't you make some coffee for everybody, huh? Now, well, wait a second. What's this about $300? Um, Russ, let her make the coffee. Now, what about the $300? Russ. Uh, Russ, Amelia, uh, we was going to tell you. You see, we had an accident with the cape and spilled some food on it and the cleaners ruined it but the insurance is paying for it well 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 it's like i always say amelia cast your bread upon the waters and it comes back dough thank you hey, hold, hold it there, russ that shake ain't yours that's all oh no it isn't no he's right russell we gave them the cake will you zip it up amelia i want that money <laughs> Listen to rich daddy drain pipes over here. <laughs> Dredging after a lousy $300. We do not need the money, Russell. You know how much I gotta make to keep $300 cash in our tax bracket? I gotta make $800, maybe $1,000. That's why I want that check. Now you give me that $1,000. Why, you copper-plated phony, you? You're money nuts. When this was just a raggy fur, you couldn't care less about it. Now it's $300, your whole world lights up. You bet it does. You really bet it does. 300 bucks tax-free is really illuminating, and I ain't leaving here without I get that check. Oh, money, money, money. You really love it, don't you, rich man? You bet I do. How do you think I got to be rich, poor man? Oh, geez, the greed of him. I can smell it all over him. Woo! <laughs> What you're smelling is the sweet perfume of success. Listen to this guy talking about perfume and him all day long up to his armpits and toilets. <laughs> Them toilets got me my beachfront home in the Ponset. Oh, listen to the big shot here, bragging because he was lucky enough to marry into a successful plumbing racket. Successful? Her father's business wasn't worth the red ink it cost to keep the books. I built that business up myself. Get out of here. Old, old man left you a going concern and her brother on a board of education. He gave you the concession for a whole school district there. 600 toilets. Boy, talking about falling into a royal flush. <laughs> Nobody made me but me. You tell him, Amelia. Tell him who built that business up. Uh, Papa, Freddy, my Uncle Charles. <laughs> Listen to that. Your own wife knows you what a phony you are. Well, you ain't getting this check. This check belongs to us. No, it don't, Archie. What are you talking about? Mrs. Jefferson gave you this check, and it says right on the check here, pay to the order of Amelia de Kuyper. <laughs> What's her name doing on this check? Well, she's the owner of the mink. You said yourself, Archie, as soon as it was cleaned, it had to go back to Amelia because you didn't want no charity coming into oh, this house. It... Thank you. Come along. You here. see what you've done here? <laughs> Russ, you ain't leaving this house till I finish saying to you what I want to say to you. What do you want to say to me? I'll split that with you. <laughs> Come on, Amelia. Russ, Russ, you don't know, you walk out of here with that check. Russ? If you leave this house with that there check there, Russ, it ain't gonna do our friendship no good. <laughs> Once again, your side of the family.